Hi YouTube, this is your girl Simply Love and I'm back with a video for you. Um, I, I, I don't know what's going on with, with my volume. I have to really get somebody to look at that because, you know, I can't do it myself. I don't, I'm not really inclined like that and then, you know, like I said, my vision is so impaired. Um, I have to get somebody to look at it. Um, <clears throat> My voice seems to be coming across kind of funny, and then there's some weird noises in the background. I notice, you know, I, I want to try to make some good, you know, quality, quality uh, type videos so you guys can, you know, look at them and enjoy them. So please bear with me with that. I may have to get another uh, video camera. I'm not really sure, but I'm going to, you know, look into it as far as the sound so the sound can come across nice and clear for you guys um so what i'm doing um is just like a pre a pre uh april relationship advice type of reading it's going to be some type of advice for those who are together um or married we're thinking about getting together. You'll know what has some things to what to expect out of each sign. And actually, what I'm doing is breaking it up in, you know, in threes. I'm doing the earth four. I'm sorry. I'm doing. I've I done the um the uh the fire signs, which are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And to, I'm this one is going to be the earth signs, which are. The earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So I'm getting ready to do those right now. Okay. And please bear with me with the sound. If it's not sounding really, really good, I try to edit it and everything like that. And it's just not working. I just have to really get somebody to look into it and see what's going on with that. Other than that, I do apologize um, for if, if there's any sound that, you know, comes in that sounds weird or. And if you can't hardly understand, I hope you can understand me. I try to play it over. It seems like, you know, it, you can understand me, but I do hear a bit of little noises uh, uh, here and there. Okay, so we're going to get right into it. And like I said, um, what's going to lead, I'm going to do Virgo first. Okay, Virgo's coming up first in the earth sign. Okay, and um, we know Virgo are a, a practical sign. They're very practical people. Um, they do, you know, they're very um, thorough, very dependable. Uh, when it comes to doing something as far as a job, you know, they do it right. They do it the right way or they don't do it at all. Virgos remind me of Libra so much. Their personalities, they're very laid back, very calm and cool. They know how to uh, handle their emotions. They don't deal with life with emotions. They deal with life with logic. And um and, and being practical that that's how they are, and they do everything is the same over and over and over again. That's what you can expect out they're earth sign they're they're just solid, they're solid as a rock they're they're, they're you know they're they're the, the 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 earth, you know, just like the earth, the earth is solid, it takes a lot to dig into the earth to get what you want to get out of it it's a, it takes some digging and digging and digging that just they're just earthly people. They're very grounded. Very nice people, too, Virgos are. I love it. I think they're great. <laughs> we need more Virgos in the world. Okay. So, getting on with the reading. I've already shuffled the cards, prayed over the cards. I'm just going to give you the um, messages that was given to me from the Most High, from the angels. That's how I'm going to read these cards. I don't look at them and read them how, what, whatever is on, on them or whatever, you know, if they're written on or whatever. I just look at it and get the messages come through, through, and, and or what I hear when I'm hearing about it. So that's how I do my readings. I use the cards as, um, you know, a way of, of reading the signs, but, you know, once you have a, if any of you had a reading with me, you know exactly what I'm all about. You know how it goes. Um, you know, the truth is the truth. I believe in the high power and, um, I believe we're all gifted. 
And I'm here to help you to find that gift within yourself, to find the love within yourself the same way that I had to do. So you can, you know, go out there and be that superstar that you are. Know who you really are and love yourself. That's what I'm here for. Um, so I just came up with this little thing to do because, you know, my last video wasn't really all that perky because I wasn't feeling all that great. But I'm feeling pretty good now. And I'm just going to add this little pre- April love advice type of thing uh, in a way to where I broke it down to the, you know, the element, the earth, the air, the water, and um, and the, the fire. So I'm doing the earth sign now, okay, which this was going to be for Virgo. So as we're looking at Virgo, the first thing I'm looking at is going to be a man or a woman because we're talking about couples relationships and people that want to get in relationship with these type of, of uh, elements of, of of the signs okay um uh, and we're looking at the the king of earth or the queen of earth here you look at that i hope you can see that okay there's some beautiful beautiful angel cards i tell you they're beautiful i love angels now the king of earth is one of those type of men or women that are they're they're very generous they're generous people they're professional responsible and practical we already been through that already they are they just grounded earth people are just grounded grounded people um very quiet and timid at times very shy um but hey, once it, there's a job to get done and you want to see that job get done and done well and right, you people out there need to hire you some Virgos because they're going to do the thing. They're going to do the damn thing because they, they, they straight like that. They, they love things to be well put together. They love to do things the right way. Like I said, that comes from being practical. Um, they're very professional about what they do. That means what they when they do it, they do it right. They get it done right the first time. Very neat and clean, tidy people. Um, as I'm looking at this, I'm getting something about success. Like it's a, a successful time for some of you Virgo men and women out there uh, coming into April. Um, this month, I think you were going through uh, some type of transformation of, of leaving, of leaving of something or someone leaving or, you know, or or you leaving or somebody leaving you. I think there was some kind of transformation going on and still is going on. It's just, you know, it, it's just, it's taken, it's, it's taken, it, it took its course, uh, but there's still some more to go because um, you already went through all the thinking process, or a lot of you uh, Virgos out there, you done been through this, the thinking process. You're coming up out of these wood, wooded areas here, it looks like, uh, where you've been just hiding out at uh, seclusion, away from everybody. And it looks like you, you know, pull yourself together enough and say, hey, it's time to get out. It's time to break out of this madness. I mean, this is because it's turmoil in the background so it was a lot of turmoil going on there and um they it looks like they're off away coming away from that turmoil because their wings aren't all the way out but they're coming all the way out their wings are kind of bent at the end twisted at the end still so it's showing that they've done some progress so far they've been doing some work on themselves on the inside a lot of you virgos out there I've done a lot of work on the inside and still going through it to next month. Next month, the wings should be flying. By the middle of next month or at the end of next month, you uh, Virgos out there that have been through this harsh turmoil time, uh, you're coming out and you're you know you're you're gathering with your friends again. But they're going to be different type type of friends. They're going to be friends that you can trust because I believe you went through some something with them also through some 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 something that went wrong in your life that brought you all the way down you know to your knees down there. Um, it looks like you may be you know um, socializing with people that's more like minded like you that think more practical like you do that don't 
you know, act like little kids. They you know, you can conversate like a grown up, grown adult as a lot of you are out there. You single ones are looking to be single, period. Because um, it, it looks like maybe um, coming out of whatever it is that you came out of or was um, uh, in. Um, and it was a heartbreak or, you know, really hurt you. It could have been through death. It could have been through um, friendship that you had for a long time that was gone and it hurt you. Relationships, partners, husbands, wives, things like that. But it um, you went through something, but you're coming out. You're coming out of it really very well. You're handling it very well emotionally. You detached yourself emo emotionally from that person or whatever it was that happened. You detached yourself from that person emotionally. You had to do it because, um, because of the pain that was, that was carrying you were very unhappy. Um, uh, I can say Virgos and you know, I'm telling the truth that most of you are, you know, controlling. You like the control issue. I don't think you control to be to try to be like you're in control i think you control a situation so it can go uh, uh, uh the best way that it can that's what i believe about a lot of virgos and a lot of people say you know they are controlled all they're going to do is control you manipulate you you know yeah if you let them get away with a lot of that stuff but some some of it i believe is just for for a lot of uh, grounded ones the, the older ones i believe they just want to they want things to go right and they bring it to your attention, you know, and I see a lot of you Virgos are going to let that go. You're going to, you're going to like lighten up a lot because you, you've taken a good look, look, you, you've been out in the woods all by yourself and you're coming out and you've been doing a lot of thinking and there's a smile on your face. So you, you've overcome a lot of things that you didn't think that you would overcome tears, pain, heartache. Of, of something or someone that done something to you that you did not deserve at all. You did not deserve that. You thought things were going to go one way because they were saying one thing, but doing another. Um, and it seems to me like it happened more than one time. Or there's some of you earth sign Virgos out there that are um, getting into a new profession. You're leaving the old profession and getting into a new profession. Something that's more Something that's more you, something that makes you happy to get up in the morning to go to uh, some type of job opportunity uh, that that's coming up. It's going to be a successful time. It's going to be a good transformation from what I was talking about. Um, you're going to accept whatever offer this is. You're going to accept it. The right. This is going to be the right. You're going to accept the right offer as far as a job. You're going to accept the right offer when it comes to relationship-wise. You're not going to go backwards. You're going forward uh, within your life when it comes to anything that happened that caused you to uh, stay in the woods and by yourself and, 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 you know, and bent your wings there a little bit. But they're spread back. They're spreading back out again. You, it's like you got some hope there. It's like something that... Something gave you some hope in, in order for you to come out like that. There was some something that sprung it, sprung you out of that feeling like, you know, whatever situation you went through was hopeless. Like, it, like ain't nothing never good going to happen. It's always going to be something bad. But something came up and it caught you off guard and, 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 and it just sprung you back up. No matter what it comes to, job, relationship, whatever, men and women. um. Uh, Virgos, I see you guys having a fun time. This came up in your love relationship that I did last month, I believe it was. This same card came up because you're coming up and you're coming out, Virgos. You're changing. You're not going to be in, uh, stuck in your old habits anymore because I think you evaluated yourself and seen, you know, at first you were in denial about a lot of things within yourself because you were too busy pushing it on other people but th whatever this heartache this our heartache thing had to happen in order for you to get to this point so sometimes heartache is is a good thing so it can run you into better things okay that's what that's for so don't don't 
you know, you Virgos out there, don't be too hard on yourself about anything that you're doing. Go, you're, you're in fun times right now. You're getting back into your friendship, relationship, but choosing a little bit more carefully, talking less to some people because you found out a lot during this terrible time, how they were reacting and things that were coming out of their mouth that you didn't think would uh things that you kept secrets about that they were saying and you never ran off and told or said anything to them or disrespected them in any kind of manner you found out they've done that to you but now you're going to be having fun times you're going to let loose and you're going to let go of some people that just did you wrong that uses you all the time that doesn't appreciate your friendship all they want you around for is what you can do for them uh, all that's going to change, Virgo, men and women, okay? And when it comes to relationships, you're going to have fun in your relationships. Relationships, fun times are coming up in relationships. See the hands up in the air, wave them like you just don't care. Yay, yay. Yeah, you're going to have some fun times. You're going to, you know, date. You're going to go out. Some of you Virgos are going to be dating and going out after this breakup and just, you know, being single and free. Some of you just going to take a little time and space to make decisions about what you want in love life because you're a lot older. So you don't want to stay single too long, but you do want to think out things before you get involved with something. You want to make sure that it's, you know, whoever you with, if, if, if you got their back, they got your back too. That's only being logical. And, 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 and you know, Virgos are logical and practical people and they thinkers. They're, they think a lot, so they take their time. They take their time. And don't get no new. Don't if if if, if you don't if you in a rush or a hurry for something, don't get with no Virgo because they're gonna take their good old time until they think it out. And when they feel like, see, that's part of their stubbornness too. Sometimes they can go on too long, and something can go right on by them, and 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 they refuse to see. That's part of their problem. But you see that light on top of their head, that Virgo's head there? They, they, they were, that's what they were, they were refusing to see the fun times because they were in, um, in some type of mess, men and women. Um, refusing to see things won't help you grow. It won't get you nowhere. Having a hard head, got a helmet on there. That's having a hard head and not wanting to see and not wanting to hear. And not wanting to know what's right in front of their face because it's denial. That's what you call denial. So, um, saying that for you, Virgo men and women, as far as relationship wise, you have to listen to one another. You have to open up to one another. You have, you have to see each other. You have to be naked in front of each other. One can't go one way and expect a relationship to happen. You both have to open up and and accept your part of responsibility when things go wrong. And you have to face the responsibility when things go wrong. You can't go running away. You can't put your head down and act like it's not there. And you can't, don't act like a big baby. To me, it's like acting like a big old baby, like a big kid. Okay? Or it is, for some of you, uh, uh, Virgos, it could be some type of emotional depression that you went through. Really, really, it hits you really, really hard. It hits you hard. It went, it went through that, uh, uh, that, the barriers you had up. You see that armor head mask? It went through that. That's how hard it hit you because you were so guarded and so shielded. But whatever this thing was, it hit you really, really hard like karma. Karma. But it's a, it's a good thing because you're going to learn to flow, Virgo. You're going to be flowing towards, uh, in April. Uh, coming into April, you're going to flow. You're coming out with the flow. You're letting go. You're in the waters, and the waters is calm. Um, uh, there, it looks like maybe a life jacket in the back. You got your hand on your heart, and you got your one hand in the water. If you're letting go, it's like you're going to go with the flow because the water is not moving. Your hand is there, and it's still, and the waters around you are still, and you're looking down. And you got your hand on your heart. So you're gonna, you're, you're, you're really gonna come out of this, this thing. This, both, you know, in relationship wise and in, um, 
partnership wise uh you're going to come out and, and it's going to be some sort of compromise everything's going to start to flow it's going to come together if your people two people that are together that had these you know type of problems or trouble a uh, couple relationships it looks like a lot of you virgos some of y'all want to you know uh, go with the flow and you know relax and calm some of you are going to be sick if you're younger and you went through something like this you're going to be single for a while and think and really look and be careful about your who you pick next a lot of you older ones that got out of a relationship um you're either going to go back to a relationship that was that you know uh, made you realize that it was good um after going through this real bad thing that you thought was good you know it kind of ended up being like the devil um it was a devilish way so you kind of like seen the light it ha you had to go through this to see the light some of you are just going to you know you know really find someone else that you're comfortable being around burglars have to be comfortable being around if they're around a person that's over over emotional and you know comes out strikes out with these you know uh tantrum fit power screams and things they can't tolerate that too long They'll tolerate it because I think most of the time they'll, they'll ignore it or something um, and not really express their feelings the way they should when if somebody's hollering at them. But, um, you know, after a while, they just like, hey, this is enough. I can't take no more. And that's what's going on here. And he's, 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 he's finding peace within himself. He's finding peace. He's, he's, going, he's going on a spiritual journey, he's dipping himself in the water. And, and it's calm and cool and it's where he wants to be. He wants, he, and he wants to put that, that other stuff in the past. He wants to leave it in the past. Her, you, women and men, okay? Coupled up, look like you, some may just, you know, if you're already married, things like that, that can either end or that can stay. It could go either way because it looks like it could be something to where the, when the flow comes in, they may want to make up or each other want to make up or, or however it goes, men or women. So the last I'm getting for you, Virgo, is um, justice going to triumph. I think I think you've been getting this a lot. These same type of I think a lot of you Virgos are going through a, a big transformation this year. So this is like you know you know justice is going to triumph. Whatever was done wrong will be righted. If somebody did you wrong, if somebody stole something from you, Virgo, it's, you know, you're going, it's going to be right. You might not get it all, but you're going to get some because, uh, you know, some of you may have been taken for a ride with your money, with, with your material possessions, with somebody else's possessions. And they might have took this and, you know, thought they got away with it, but justice is going to prevail one way or another in your favor. You see what I'm saying? So. Don't worry about that. Just move forward like you plan on doing. So that's it for the Virgo um, Earth sign. Now we're going to do Taurus Earth sign, okay? So Taurus, we're going to start you out with the Queen of Earth. That's going to be man or woman because we're talking relationship issues here. Um, and a lot of, like I said, the Earth signs are just thoughtful, creative, warm, sensible people. All of them. Are. I mean, you know, all the earth signs are just sensible, creative, warm, hearted people. They may not seem like it because they hold their emotions. They know how to control their emotions. So you would think that they would be a cold person, but you get, you get deep down inside that heart, you're going to see that 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 beauty in that um that love that they have and they you know, like I said, from in past, and they're try, they're working on that. They're working on their heart chakra to open it up for love. You know, they gotta open it up because they've been through so much. You know, that's how we all get. I believe at times we get hurt so much about some situation. We close our whole heart chakra, and we're gonna have, and you're gonna have to learn that you have to take time for yourself to open that back up so you can have room for somebody to come in there. There ain't no sense in, you know, coming in under a relationship and getting your clothes up because that that's not going to work either. So, you know, some of you have to understand about what some of these um, Tauruses and Virgos may be going through. Both of them seem like both those Earth signs had a little problem the past few months, maybe six to seven months that that's been going on. You know, uh, some turmoil. 
Uh, they're saying right now for some of you Tauruses to go ahead and make time for some people. Open up, you know, um, you know, take a, take a, there, there's a situation for some of you that you can take a, um, a, a, a different approach or look at it like look at it a different way like almost like the hangman you can like kind of like go like this and look at it in a different direction than, or a different way than what you were, were doing either for someone else or yourself or your mate some of you that are married you might want to look at something like some turmoil going around you but you might want to look at it a different way because it might not be as bad as you think it is Taurus is this is for all you Tauruses out there. Um, in a kind and understanding way. You know, they want you to be kind and understanding about it, Taurus. Because you know you guys can be, y'all can get hot-headed sometimes about things. So look at it in a different direction. You're in a relationship or a marriage. Try to look at it, you know, um, from a different direction that is coming and uh and try to uh be reasonable and diplomatic about about it don't just don't just go off on the situation just look at it differently be use your creativity when it comes to love and and partnerships and stuff like that Taurus. that'll help you out a lot um Almost like Virgo, you are now coming out of the sadness and isolation. You know, you're coming out of that. You were isolated. You isolated yourself just like Virgo did because of the pain or whatever struggle you went through. You went, it's like you went underground and nobody know where you were. You just disappeared and you probably just was sitting up in the house, <laughs> you know, watching TV and little chair and nobody know where you at knocking at the door and he's saying, tell them I'm not here. Tell them to people, I'm not here, I'm not here. You was going through some things, but you done come up now. You was you were sad and you were isolating yourself. And that did that wasn't doing any you were doing a lot of thinking, but you were more sad than you were thinking. So it wasn't really good to be in isolation. But you're coming you're 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 coming up out of the isolation. Um you're coming up because I see that band around your head and it's gonna be um coming up to um to uh spiritual awakening something inside shook you and spiritually to, to make you be uh more aware of some of yourself and uh, more aware that life is just too short to go through some certain things that you go through and you appreciate the little things in life that you used to didn't you may have surrounded yourself uh you may have been a selfish type person just only thought about self a lot and not thinking about others karma you know things like that could have been death could have been anything like that that terrible that you went through uh taurus just like the virgos did this uh, for the past uh, few months if you're coming out of it though you're coming out of the isolation you're coming out of seclusion um you're you're trying to uh Partnership wise, whether it's marriage or partnership that you're with, um, uh, uh, they're telling the angels are stressing for you to, you know, try to look at it, look at it at a different way. Don't explode about it. Kind of like look at it and say, you know, be reasonable about it and, you know, make, and, and talk about the, and talk about, be open and talk about things. Don't get closed up. Don't take it. Don't be irrational. Just, just, just take it. Go with the flow. Talk about it, see how it goes, because opportunity does beckon. So the opportunity always beckons, and opportunity is going to beckon you. Opportunity is going to beckon you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. I have a phone on my computer and it's ringing. Um, um, uh, it, it, there's it's it, it's in back. You're you're sitting there not even looking at it. It's it, you know there's the star, the moon above. You're looking away from that. There's something in back of you that's begging you to turn around and look at, and you're not looking at it. So opportunity is beckoning for you, Virgos. I'm not, I'm sorry, Virgos, but Tauruses. And they want you to look at it. Look up at it. It's right there in front of your face. Turn around. It's right there in your back. You know what? It's, it's a lot of passion. You know, bring your passion out. 
bring that passion out again, Taurus. If you're um if you're married right now or you're you know, have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, if you're a boy, you have a girl, if you're a girl, you have a boy, and bring that passion back. Because that's what that's what your partner is looking for in, from you. They they're looking for more passion. They're looking for more touching, more feeling, more emotional type. Uh, I mean, more physical type uh thing going on. They want that passion back. That's all they want. So give it to them. You got it. Give it to them. And then you start feeling stuff for yourself. You're gonna feel the passion for your own self. And the last one I'm coming up with is the um. Um, for you, Taurus, is that, you know, to just create, 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 start creating, start um, activating your DNA, you know, get, get back into, you know, get back into yourself, Taurus, you know, come on back, come on, bring it on home, Taurus, you know, it, it, it wasn't that bad, you know, we all got lessons to learn, we all done been there before, been there, done that, okay? come out of it because it's going to all be okay for you. There's opportunities there for you, Taurus, uh, especially you ones that are coupled up that thinking about breaking up. You might want to stop and think about it for a while because I see this passion coming up for a lot of you, Taurus. Is once they come out of this muck that they're in or thinking about whatever that they're doing, they're, they, you know, they're, they, they've been through something and, and, and you probably watched it. So, you know, if you plan on, you know, kind of splitting up, kind of wait for a while. I'd say, I'd say wait for a while, you Taurus couple. Wait for a little, little bit. Because this can turn around to this mad, mad passion stuff here that I see. That's what we can turn to that mad, that actually it could just be coming out. Just give them a, him, if it's a she, if she is a him, give, give them a chance before you call it quits, okay? For some of you, some of you, it just very well may be. That's it. You, you just may need to take another path, okay? So that's all I have for you today. Um, I want to thank my subscribers, those who watch my videos and share my videos, like my videos, comment on my videos. I love all of you. I hope you do enjoy this video. Um, like I said, it's something to make up for me being so late with my March videos, and this is gonna. This is a free um, companionship love um uh pre April reading, okay? So I'm gonna say as I always say, um, love is all there is and love is all there ever be. And I hope this helps everyone. Love you all. Take care. Bye bye.